Um, today we have an article that says woman who earns 500 plus K sleeping with married men says she sees the same thing all the time. Okay. So this is apparently her. I don't know if this is AI or obviously she got some lip fillers. She looks old. Okay. So let's go ahead and read the article. Olivia Bentley from Idaho, U.S., Idaho, Idaho, get it, uh, is a self-proclaimed SEX therapist who makes 500 plus K a year. Wow. With 15 years of experience in the industry, the 46-year-old claims her work has saved marriages and changed lives. So she basically goes to married men who haven't been getting any type of action and sleeps with them. So she fulfills their needs, basically. And as you can see, this is her. She looks fit. Okay, probably takes some steroids. But uh, that's uh, neither here or there. All right. According to Psychology Today, around around one in seven married adults in the United States are in relationships with little to no intimacy, and 4% haven't had SEX in the past five years. Why are you married? You haven't had SEX in the past five years. Why are you... If you don't have SEX for one month, you should start looking somewhere else. Unless if there's like like a legit le reason why you're not receiving SEX. Um, this number is likely higher than research shows. Wow. As people may be reluctant to admit they are, they have a marriage without any bedroom activity. So the chances are higher that, pff, wow. Bentley, who learned many tricks while working at Nevada's Moonlight Bunny Ranch, they had to add the in parentheses, legal brothel, says while she lacks official counseling qualifications, so she's a self-proclaimed, okay, counselor, she has a master's degree in education. What does that have to do with you smashing people and giving them counseling? It has nothing to do with anything. She uses her experience and knowledge to help married couples, whether it be and happy husbands in sexless marriages or giving couples tips to maintain a healthy love life. Okay, I can agree with this one. You know, giving tips and stuff like that. That would be great, but is she married herself? How is she giving marriage advice when she's probably not married herself? Which, like, how does that make sense? Okay, okay, she's obviously fit, all right. Bentley, who sees up to uh, 10 clients weekly, claims women ask her to perform demo sex acts on their husbands and others grant their spouses a hall pass. Wow, let's do the math. Siri, how many weeks are in 15 years? Okay, about 783. Let's do 783 times 10. That's about 7,830 partners that she had. This is just from work. Obviously, she has a personal life, so she's probably smashing on the side, too, when she's not working. She says, while some wives don't want any involvement in the experience, they are keen to know who she is. All right. The sex therapist says that far too often... Many of her male clients have found their love lives dwindling after a few years of marriage. 
Mm, tough. How old is she? She says, it's unfair of wives to drop such an important aspect of relationship. And in these cases, she is understanding of why husbands search somewhere else for their needs to be met. Okay. All right. She's speaking some truth. For couples who are keen to spice up their love life without the need for a hall pass, Bentley says there's one aspect of a person's day-to-day -day life that can make it happen. The sex therapist says she encourages clients to exercise, believe, believing this is one of the best way to increase libido. So she's basically saying most people get married, get lazy, get fat, stop working out, and then the libido goes down. And then when the libido goes down, they're not, you know, that attraction is not there. So they start looking somewhere else. I mean, you could have just worked out. And put that burger down. Regardless of who puts in more work in the bedroom, she insists both partners should stretch and try yoga. She adds that it's a great way for a person to feel good about him, about themselves, and she may be onto something. I mean, this is this is not rocket science. Like you're doing healthy stuff together, it's gonna increase the chemistry and camaraderie between you guys, which makes it easier for, for the couples, I'm assuming, to to have relations. It, it's not... I mean, her, her advice is great, but what's not great is her sleeping with... <laughs> sleeping with the husbands. That's crazy. Let's continue reading. Pro rehab chiropractic studies show that exercise can boost a person's sex drive with men who exercise 2.5 hours a week reportedly having 15 increase in testosterone. Okay. The research also found that for women, just 20 minutes of exercise can boost the libido to 169%. Wow. WebMD suggests many exercises to create better sex such as swimming, core, ab, core and abs, abs work, and pelvic thrusts. You gotta, practice, you gotta practice them thrusts. Ultimately, Bentley has nothing but praise for her clients, who she admires for understanding the importance of good sex life as part of preserving a healthy marriage. Okay, so... Them sleeping with you, how does that, are they returning? Like, do they get a subscription? Like, you smash them this week, and then if they're, I'm not understanding, like, what's, what's her role? So she smashes the person, or she gets smashed, and then the person goes back to their wife. The, 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 these people are smashing her, go back to their wives, and their wives just be like, oh, yeah, now, now we can get it on. Like, what's, what's her role? I understand she's giving advice. Like, okay, you got to do this, you got to do that, you got to do that. But on top of that, she's sleeping with them. Like, what's the purpose of that? She's just basically a prostitute. That's all it is. She's a prostitute that tries to hide behind this whole therapist, self-proclaimed therapist, sex therapist bullshit. Uh, tell me what you think about it in the comment section below. Uh, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys again in the next video.